in another predicament. But I'm here, so that means we won. Y'all, that's something to be said. I can hoop right here, but you yeah, I could hoop right here. I ain't gonna do it. But I'm just saying, how many battles you been through and you're still here? If you're still here, that means you don't get brought through. Been two, oh, it's going on three years, bro. We still. Come on, I ain't gonna hoop today. I'm gonna teach today, really. With tablets. Some instruments, read. With joy, read. And with instruments of music, mm, read. Read. And the women, mm -hmm. read. Answer one another as they play. Mm -hmm. Read. And said, what did he say? <laughs> Saul has slain his thousands. Yeah. Come on, See, Saul sticking out his chest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But the song sounds pretty good right on now. <laughs> song, yeah. That's what's up. King Saul up in here. That's what's up. That's right. Three. And David his ten thousand. Somebody rewrite this song. Hold up. They was doing good. When they said what they said, they came out to meet the king. They they was talking about the king. That they was doing good. And, and it was okay to even include David. The problem came yeah. in the numerical value yeah. of the battle. Yeah. Yeah. See, a thousand is good. Yeah. But ten thousand, he did extra work. He did extra. He did much. Yeah. How you gonna be higher <laughs> than somebody taller than you, Come on now. physically looks stronger than you, Watch this. Economically got more than you. Yes. Come on, you man. matter of fact, they're your servant. You're not theirs. Come on. This can cause severe emotional, mental illness and strain in a person that is not seeing themselves right. Wow. Thus, the atmosphere. Wow. The problem is, when this feeling would come upon Saul before this battle, the one to remedy his problem, come on that problem was David. Yep. Come yeah. on that. Now, oh, the strain has come, come on that. as a result come on that. of the success come on. Come on of the very person that's meant to help me with my problem. So the help ain't going. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Amen. Come on now. Hey, Give me some Bible. And Saul was very wrong. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's mental strength. Read. And the same displeased. Mentally. Read. And he said, mm -hmm. They have ascribed unto David 10,000. Oh, yeah. So, folk, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Never mind mm -hmm. that the people that came to take your kingdom have now been defeated, whether it was by your <laughs> physical hand or not. God that already told you, you're not going to sit on the throne that much longer. And when you're going to be there till you die. That's good enough. Y'all to just take that song. He you, you could kill you and put him on the, right now. But no, no, no. You gonna be there, just your descendants won't be able to sit upon the throne. He already been told this. But he's so steeped in who Saul is. Come on now. Who Saul in his mental is so jacked up right now, he can't receive this. Read. And to me. Read. They have a scribe, but thousands. Mm. Look at the difference. I only get thousands and he get ten thousands. Read. And what can he have more but the king? See, this is mental. See, Saul ain't so much about the mission, the people, the nation, the children. He's about self and self status and being up here and being all that. See, when you when you are an individual, that's what you're about. You're about self. And if self ain't taken care of, you will sacrifice everybody else to take care of self. But when you understand mission, you in this with everybody. We a team. We go forward together as one man. And it don't make no difference to me whether you do a better job as long as I do a job and do it well. They were saying, so you do it. Good. David just was able to do this. And so what? David. Go and here's ahead. the other thing about help, y'all. Might be getting ahead of myself. My Lord. Even though the Spirit of the Lord was with David, that he could do these things. 
David never, yep. well, not ever, well, lost respect. Come on now. Amen. Amen. David could have killed Saul many times. Yep. But his respect for God allowed him to respect the anointed of God. Yes, and David had so much respect. He said, when God is ready come on now. to remove Saul, he'll do it. I'm going to go even further ahead of myself. I'll just give you this, because you may not know. So Saul went out to battle one day. This is way in, later in the book. Just going to give you this. Saul went out to battle. And it's some confusion as to how this happened, but let me give you this version of the story. And Saul had lost this battle. Rather than be captured by the Philistines, he fell on his sword. Mm. But he didn't die. Mm -hmm. And there was a there was a servant boy. And Saul said to him, Kill me before the Philistines get here. I don't even want to be taken into their custody. Just take me out of here. Let me let me help you relate to what's happening here. Just bury me by the sea. Mm. So what my ancestors that jumped overboard yeah. those ships knew on, that it was greater to die rather than to live. Yeah. That's the mindset at this time of Saul. Y'all remember the line? Okay, let's go. The, the, the little man, the little guy, the little shepherd, whatever he was, he did it. When that young man got back to David and told David what happened? That he had to kill Saul. Yes. And in the words of Saul, David heard the story. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. I think he retired for a, a few minutes. <laughs> and David come back and say, How is it that you fixed your heart and had enough goal to kill the Lord's anointed? That's right. I don't care what he told you. That's, that's the Lord's anointed. Do y'all see how deep that is? The Lord's anointed. Listen. The Lord's anointed is not even allowed to give the order to take himself out because God himself has to do it. Y'all ain't in here. Come on now. Come on. Come on, come on in here. Come on in here. So when David found out that happened, he killed him. Yes, he did. Yeah. So you can't, you can't do that. If David wouldn't do it, what make you think? You and I, David is the next king and he wouldn't do it. Come on, so I don't care how wrong he is or how wrong you think oh, he man. is. That's the Lord. That's for the Lord to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Gotta move on. Gotta move on. Watch this. Verse number nine. We in verse number nine. Read. And Saul, I, David, from that day and forward. Come on. That evil eye. Yeah. He Come, on, him. Come on. He heard the song. Yeah, you got 10,000. Now, David, the reason he gets the eye, his help ain't wanted no more because Saul got an ego problem. Right. He gets the eye because guess what? He still carries out his duties to the king. Yep. And in the middle of doing what the Lord and what the king wanted him to do, watch what happens. Watch this. Read. Read. Verse 10. And it came to pass, came to pass. on the morrow mm -hmm. that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul. Saul is now in his rut. Saul is now in his feelings. He caught up. He, he feel like everybody's showing fake love to him. And everybody. That's what he feeling. It ain't got to be real. When you feel a thing, you going to act a thing. It ain't got to be real at all. Because some of us feel a certain way about things and we act as if though that's the reality simply without true knowledge. Y'all ever been saying, you know what? I hope they ain't saying this because if they saying this, then this, this, that, and the third is this, this, this here, and I'm going to do this, this, that, and I have people talking to me like that, and then I say, so you said... If they say that. Yeah, that's right. If they say that. And I'll say, but you're mad as if you already know they did. And this is where Saul is. He messed up. 
Because he know the people singing their song, but he's going to take the anger of what the people are doing out on his very help. Not his evil spirit is upon him. He is stressed in his heart. He got ego problems. And when David get ready to do his job, he's going to let him know, help is not wanted. Well, read. Well, well. And he prophesied uh -huh, read. in the midst of the house. Oh, read. And David played with his hand. Read. As at other times. As at other times. Read. And there was a javelin in Saul's Come hand. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> you ever had somebody you trying to help <laughs> and you may not even know what they think of you. They probably hate your guts. <laughs> at least at this point. Because he wants, go back to the, don't go there, but remember our text. It said when they first brought David before him, he what? He loved him. He loved him. Yep. But because of his ego and his mental issue, when folks start giving David some of the praise, he thought he should get that love. Did away. Read. And Saul cast the javelin. See, for me, it wasn't even the fact that he threw the javelin. It was how hard he threw it and what he meant to happen. When what he saw, come on, let me get in your head. Let me borrow the canvas of your mind for a minute. <laughs> he not only threw it at him, uh, DJ, he, he didn't just casually get out, get out of my house. But he, that, that wasn't it. Get, come with me and get this visual. Read. For he said, uh -huh. I will smite David mm -hmm. even to the wall mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all sitting there. Y'all y'all gonna be soft. Y'all gonna be soft. I'm up here giving music. I'm up here trying to help. Up here trying to give something to enrich. But I don't know how much you can't stand. Right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So you're not going to just kill me or throw something at me. You're going to throw it with such intensity and power that means every ounce of your being. That when that javelin hit me, it will continue to carry my lifeless body into the wall. Yep. And I'll be pent up there, stuck. That's what Saul is visualizing yep. in his head to throw. He not, I'm not just going to kill you, David. I'm going to put so much power. When I throw this javelin, he probably could do it. I told you he was a big guy. I'm going to put so much power in this javelin that when they come in here to carry you out, they go, no, don't you mess with Saul. Did you see that? You think David put himself up there? Huh? He's still sitting down. And David is on the wall. Yes, sir, Master Saul. Yes, sir. Y'all ain't here? It's the intensity with which a person can hate you. Yes. Watch this. And you will not be aware well, until they show it. Yes. Show it. Show it. Show it. But David is prudent. See, sometimes people tell you more. Mm -hmm. I, I taught this lesson. People tell you more about how they feel about you mm -hmm. when they think you yeah. don't know. Don't know. Well, well. Uh, Amen. Stay woke. Read. <laughs> and David, David, <clears throat> avoided out of his presence <laughs> twice. <laughs> Listen, you throw a jab at me one time. One, one time. <laughs> If I leave and act like you didn't just do that, you ain't got to worry about me coming a second, a second time. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but David knows this. David knows he has been anointed. Yes. Yeah. It don't matter what Saul or anybody else do. Come on now. He has to sit on that throne. Yes. Because the most high done ordained it. Right. Could you imagine knowing that? Now, he didn't get the big head, but could you imagine knowing 
Okay, God say right now, okay, God say, you know what? You got 50 years. Okay, what happened to you? Let's say you're 20 years old. God say, I'm going to give you, you you'll, you'll die when you're 100 years old. And you know it. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all thinking right now. Come on. No <laughs> skydiving. No, right? <laughs> With no parachute. Yeah. <laughs> My point is, David knows I'm all right. I'm good. Give me some more about reading. And Saul was afraid of David. So, oh, uh -oh. Mm. first well, see, get that ego in your head. See, he needed help, but now he don't want the help. But just because you don't want the help. Don't mean you don't need the help. Right. All of us need some help. And you can't take the attitude of Saul that help ain't wanted when the help is actually helping you. And don't get so caught up in your feelings that you can't even receive the blessing and the gift of other people that God has sent in your way to help you with your problem. God done put people here to help you with your problem problem and you can't stand them and when in fact they got the very gift that you need Come to on. get better from where you at but you in here hating on the next person Come Come on. On. yeah Come on. why they why they how they dress like that yeah but you won't take the time to find out the blessing the gift of having a relationship and being in this family with this person read because the Lord was with him. Because the Lord was with him, read. And was departed from Saul. And departed from Saul, read. Therefore. Therefore. Saul removed him mm -hmm. from him. Removed him from, read. And made him his captive over a thousand. Ooh. Captain over a thousand. I ain't, he ain't kill him, so what he did, he takes and demotes David. You can't be over all them soldiers. That's why you don't have victory. You can't be over all of them. I'm going to put you over a thousand. What the people said I was. I ain't gonna even bother with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got you. And David beheld, behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Now read verse 15. Wherefore, Wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, mm -hmm. he was afraid of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, he tried to kill him. And he still did his work. And it says David behaved himself wisely because the Lord was with him. Watch this. And then it says Saul was afraid. You know, and I, and I try to reach everybody. So I'm going to give this example. I saw something, a picture a while ago. And um, it was talking about financial status. And it said, everybody's a baller until the real baller walk in. <laughs> and it, and, it, and it, had, it, had a, it had a picture of Jay-Z Jay walking in among some other people. <laughs> thought, they, mm -hmm. thought they had it. Okay, y'all ain't feeling that. Okay. <laughs> we give them more... Uh, uh, some of y'all icons, you know, Gates, and you know, you got these guys out there, you know, talking about what kind of money they got. Thousand dollar shoes, five hundred dollar jeans, two hundred dollar polos, hundred dollar drawers. <laughs> come on, come on. Rolex. Come on now. Whole outfit, fifty thousand dollars. Warren Buffett. Twenty dollar shoes. Yeah, come on, man. Come Twenty dollar pants. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. get that money. Fall over from Walmart. Yeah, really. <laughs> Draws got a hole in them. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Thirty six million billion network. Come on, man. What you say? I'm just trying to show you where we get to when we know you know who you are. Come on, man. Okay. And you behave, and they and they you and everybody want to act a certain way, but then when this person that know who they are. Know what God has done for them. Know who they are in the Lord. You ain't got to say nothing. When you walk in the room, people get nervous because they don't see what you done did. Know what you about. They know your intelligence. They know where you are. And they get afraid. 
I want you to know right. who does this happen to? Remember Saul. Get this imagery. Tall. Hmm. Handsome. Come on. Strong. King. Status. David. Short. Handsome. Could play a little instrument too. He ain't that he ain't stronger physically than, than Saul. But yet, but yet, David got something. Saul ain't got. Well. And Saul know it. When the child of God walk in the room. Come on now. Well. And, they, and they know it. And you wonder why you get the evil eye. Well. Remember Saul gave him that eye? Mm -hmm. All you got to do is keep doing what it is you know to do Come that on, the Most man. High gave you to do. And you gonna get some hateration. Well, if you ain't getting it, then guess what? You Maybe you ain't doing you ain't what you supposed to do. Come on. Come on. You gonna get some hate, hate. You gonna get some folk spread some stuff about you that ain't got nothing to do with you. You gonna get the talk of somebody trying to paint your image that you do put out as a negative image because they themselves don't want people to see you how they see you. Come on now. Maybe that's why, I, I just thought about that. Maybe that's why my demeanor is so intimidating to folk in their mind. Because when you know yourself, come on now. When you know yourself, and, and it, it ain't it, listen. Don't don't think it's a, it's not a physical thing. It's mental. Because remember, it said that evil spirit, that atmosphere. It is it pains some people. Let me show you how this works. Not everybody. Just this has been my experience. Okay. It hurts some season. Older folks sometimes. Sometimes. We got we got good folk here. No, so I ain't even talking about Northbound. One of my favorite people here. I love him because he let me know this is true. Brother Best. He see some people, it pains them to their very heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to know they've been on this earth longer than you. Well. Yet mm -hmm. they don't know. They don't know. Right. Well, what you know. Well, and not only that they don't know, they may not even be able to articulate what they think they know. And when you can uh, successfully articulate that a position is incorrect or correct to an ability that they have not attained to yet understand what you just did, they can start hating you. Well, and you not know. Then they can get afraid and they seek to throw well, figurative social yeah. javelins and they want to pin you to the wall. Don't act like you don't know because they do it on your job. Yeah. How many times have you come on the job, been there, shorter period than the person that's been there, huh? And because maybe you got a degree and such or whatever, you have now uh, surpassed them and they looking for every little T you might not have crossed, every little I you might not and if they can't find one, guess what? They're going to make some jump. I'm going to make something up. We're going to find something. How you going to find something? Well, we just going to have to make something up. Take it up a little higher. Remember Daniel? We ain't going to find nothing wrong with Daniel unless we find it with his God. So what you going to do? They spend so much brain power trying to tear down the child of God. If the child of God, watch this, is wise enough. Look at what I just said. They spend so much brain power Come on. trying to tear you down that if the child of God knows what's happening, then you will recognize that most of their energy is focused in tearing you down. And when you understand that most of their energy is focusing tearing you down, you do David. You deal wisely. You hurt. Let me play this hard play. Let me play this hard play. Let me quote these scriptures. Let me show you what thus saith the Lord. Not, not trying to be mean to you. That's what I was brought to the kingdom mm -hmm. to do. Y'all remember That's that? Right. I'm going to play this hard for you. But, but just know, when you throw that javelin, I got that swerve for you. Yeah. Yeah. Get up out of there. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Come back in. Ready? Come back in. Play this hard for you. Play this hard for you. See where your heart's at. And when I know where your heart at, 
and you try to kill me again, I'll just put the swerve on you going on back. Because the most high done already told me who I am. Yeah. You the one don't know who you yeah. are, and you ain't listening to the most high. So when you a Christian, you can accept some help. It's only those who can't stand folk and caught up in ego that you don't want no help. All of us in here ought to want some help. I want some help. Praise God, I got brown, brown, help me. Praise God for our song leaders, they help us. And every ministry leader that help us. Ain't nobody got time to be hating. Hey, you know what? You know, they just got here, they're a new, 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 new person and they doing this and they doing that. And is it helping? If it ain't helping, then maybe that's telling you something about you. So your help and Northbound is wanted. But I needed to frame this and help you to see what people act like, like saw when they don't want your help. So you can know where you are. Are you a person then rejecting the help? Well, why? Why are you rejecting it? Be honest with yourself. Why are you rejecting it? Do you feel threatened by their abilities? Huh? If that's it, check yourself, don't check them. Because they cannot allow their light to be diminished because yours ain't bright as theirs. Go ahead. Huh? If somebody is on fire, guess what I try to do? I try to get close and try to catch me some fire too, man. Get this for that fire. Thank you. I got some fire. Got some, you better get close too. And when you get you some fire, you go out right there and get some more. And if you get depleted, if they still on fire, go on back over there and get you some help. Homie, you said, get you some help. Help is needed. Only those who make it about themselves and not about the mission. Our mission here is to not only save souls, but to help the souls that we save. Watch this. To stay or become more mature. I'm going to close it. Mature. Newsflash. Yes, News Spiritual maturity ain't got nothing to do with your age. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing to do with your age. So I ain't talking about that kind of maturity. The kind of maturity I'm talking about is realizing everything ain't got to go your way for you to run the play and stay on the team. That's what I'm talking about. That's spiritual maturity. You tell your kids, oh, you ought to, you ought to grow up. Everything can't go your way. That's what you tell your kids. And then you go to a place and think everything ought to run your way. No, no, no. Let it not be named among none of us in North Carolina. No, no, no. Because we go on. Now watch this. When you notice a thing and it's kind of bothering you like that, that tells you something about you. So go inside. Not outside like Saul. It ain't the time to throw the javelin out there. It's the time to examine what is this evil in me that I need to pin to the wall. And when I find that and I pin that to the wall, I can celebrate somebody else that do even the same thing I do, but do it better. I can celebrate that. And give me something to press for. Ah, this, this, this story is just full of stuff. David. David, when he got he went out to kill Goliath. Goliath had to pump everybody in Israel. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Goliath said, oh, 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 you hard? <laughs> come to this, come right here. You hard, come right here. One Israelite, we, hey, y'all ain't got to fight. Y'all ain't got to fight. I got, I got Philistine. I'm going to hold us down. Israelites, where y'all at? Uh -huh. You hard, cross this line. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It had been days. That's right. Saul ain't crossing the line. Why? Going out there. He nine foot something. I ain't going out there. You must be crazy. Days went by. David at the house. Daddy say, go check on your brothers. Make sure they're good. Go Get out there. David, I mean, Goliath came out just like he did every day. Where you at? Show me. Come on this block if you want this. Come on this block. Show me. It's all right. Bet. Bet you won't. David said, what do y'all do? Who is this? 
closely listen to Jesus watch this I say it this way the kingdom of God is within you not you in and of yourself but God has taken residence now tell me what you cannot do with the help of the most high. So I'm not so I'm not trusting in Taylor. Mm -mm. I'm trusting in the God in Taylor. Amen. Because you can't beat the most high. And if the most high is in me, I ain't got to worry about. My job is to let you know what the Most High has done for me and invite you into the power of the 